Welcome back to Be The Trader, everyone. Today, I'm actually gonna share with you a useful tool that's free that you can use right now, and you can download and use them as a broker as well, especially if you're a beginner, and that's Thinkorswim by TD Ameritrade, so stay tuned. Just go to Google, type in Thinkorswim, and it pops up right here. Click there, and you're, what you're gonna to to do is you're going to want to open a new account. So I'm going to walk you through this process and pretty much just to let you guys know, you're going to want to go to individual brokerage. This is if you're just trading for yourself, open an individual account and you'll fill out the necessary information. Now, each one of these steps, this is personal information, so I'm not going to go through each one, but just to let you know, it's very simple. It's They make it easy to open an account so that way you yourself can lose money, right? That's what they, they want your money. It's just obvious, but hopefully you won't. Hopefully you'll you'll learn, you'll practice, and you'll study because TD Ameritrade gives you a platform that lets you trade paper account for free until you find consistency. So as soon as you download Thinkorswim and you obviously install it on your desktop, double click on the icon or ask you for your username and password, you put that in and it opens up to this screen. This is the first thing you're going to see. This is the very first screen you'll see. And I'm going to walk you through what I do right away because a lot of this to me is just noise. But understand that you can use all of these functions if you'd like, but I want to show you what I do right away. Keep in mind that you will have your account number up here, your buying power right here, and then you know, live news, trader TV, which is useless to me, watch list, a quick chart, which is useless to me, and all of this is useless. So let me show you what I do right away. And I'm gonna walk you through this so that way you can set it up and be ready to go. First off, quick tip on demand right here. If you click on here, which I'm not gonna do, but if you click on there, that takes you to basically paper trading and trading the past. So you can click, click there and it can go to any date in previous you know days, years, pull up a ticker and trade it. It's really cool, really good practice, but well, that's a whole nother video. If you want videos about that, let me know, comment below, like this video, subscribe, and I will make that happen. However, the first thing I wanna do is go to charts. That is the first thing that I personally like to do. Once I go to charts, I like to have a lot of charts, but for this instance, we're just gonna go with two charts, just so I can show you, because everyone's a little different. And I wanna link these charts, because I wanna see what happens on different time frames. So I'll maybe be the yearly here, and I'll do the intraday here. This is up to you how you wanna use it. But you link charts by clicking right here with number one. You can unlink or link it. And whichever color is linked with this color pulls up the same chart. So for instance, if I have four charts and I put these two in yellow, they will be the exact same chart. But you can put them on two different time frames, which is really neat. The other thing is you have right here styles, right? And what you can do here is you can modify, you know, the chart mode. I like to keep everything as default, how it is right now. This is just personal preference. I like to keep it on candles because candles is very important when it comes to seeing price action. And I like seeing the last price. Now, time frame is always going to be right here. And you can customize it. You can click on time frame. And you can go by tick chart, by range. You can go daily, see different years. You can see it by months. This is monthly. And you can play with this. What do you prefer? Intraday, do you like three day intraday on a 10 minute? Let's see what that looks like. So it shows you. And you can favorite these to where if you click favorite, they all show up right here. This is your favorites list. And you can just, go through them. You know, we can just say, look at the one minute, the five minute, the 30 minute, and so forth. So it's very simple to use. And if you've been following my content for some time, you know I don't like using any, any indicators. 
but you can have indicators by going to studies. And if you go to all studies, you can see pretty much every indicator that you would like to use. Where I, again, don't use them, but some people like to. You can see VWAP is right here. You just click on it and it pulls up on your chart. So if you double click on the VWAP, you can remove the upper band and lower band by deselecting show plot, apply, and it just shows you VWAP. So if you like VWAP, you can easily add it to your charts and you can do the same thing on a quick study and looking for you know RSI. If you like RSI, you can put that up there. Now again, this is all preference. I don't like it. And you can easily remove it by right clicking it like I just did there and clicking remove. Now, keep in mind that I'm a trader who loves to have very clean charts. The only thing I want on my chart is the lines I draw, which is support and resistance lines or intraday uh, trend lines. That's the only thing I want. I don't want indicators that are trying to tell me something because they're usually lagged, but some people love them. It's up to you. What I will say is I also do is I clean this up real quick. I'll click on this little three line, four line box, delete. Click here, delete. Click here, or I'll minimize the account because who cares? You don't want to be focused on your PL anyway. And then you have your watch list. Now, one thing I also do is if you click detach, which I'm not going to do now because the way I'm recording, it would get rid of this. It'll be on my other monitor. But if you click detach gadget, if you have multiple monitors and you want to kind of be very customizable and pull this, this, this widget, widget, <laughs> if you will, out of this little screen, and put it on your monitor, you can. If you want to pull this chart and put it on your screen somewhere, just this chart, but not the whole platform, you can do that. You just click here and you click detach, which, oh, sorry, click up here and click detach. And you'll detach this entire section. If you only want one, you click this box up here, which also gives you multiple charts if you have a huge screen. But if you have one chart, you make it one chart, Click detach. So that's another thing that's important. Now, some people do like this quick chart. Some people like the quick chart, but I don't. So I would minimize or get rid of it. But if you want it, maybe you want to look at the overall market, see what it's doing, there you have it. But I think it's, you know, personally, delete. So the only thing I like to have on here is my watch list. I have my watch list on here and you can customize your watch list uh, by, well, first off, you can customize it in terms of what it shows you, like that change, bid and ask, by clicking on this little toolbox, click customize, and you can let it, you can determine what you can see. I personally like to see the change. And I'll put that there, and then, you know, you can widen it and you can see the percentage change. It's important to me. I don't care about net change, maybe, and, and so forth, but you can play with this however you'd like. And you can always, you can always detach this. Now the other thing is you don't just want volume and the candlesticks. Sometimes you want to make sure you see level two. Now I prefer level two and other softwares personally. I use DAS Trader. But you get free level two here by clicking level two. You can minimize it depending on how you like to see it. So you can see the bid and the ask. And if you don't know what this is, that's okay. You might be new, but at least you need to know you need to have this. You need the level two up, whether you're using this software or something else. You can look up bid and ask later, or you can ask questions. Maybe someone will help you, but it's very simple. Uh, it's, the bid is what people are willing to pay for. The ask is what people are willing to sell for. The other thing that, I, that is you will need, if you're just going to use this one software, is up here, time and cells. So hopefully you can see this. Look at my crosshair to the right. You'll see this bar, this vertical bar. That's where level two is at. This is where the news is at, which I use a lot because I feel like their news is pretty accurate and it's pretty quick. And if you click on any of the news stories that comes out, it pops this up and you can read more about it, which is nice. 
The other thing is level two, which is which is right here, but time in cells, which comes with level two. You just click here. And this shows you what is being taken out. Like someone bought it at 3.34.18. And it's red, meaning someone hit the bid. They so you know, someone sold from who had shares at 3.34.26. And it just continuously goes through over and over all day. And this is called the tape, which just Google what is the tape and trading, what you know, level two and tape. There's tons of videos out there. And maybe I'll make one in the future of explaining this in detail. But these are the these are the main widgets I would highly, highly recommend and dare to say require to trade. You need your level two, your time in sales, your news. This isn't really a requirement, but I do like having the news, but you can always toggle it on and off. I probably have it like this constantly. And you have your chart. And then you have your watch list. Now one little trick here, you see this little number two sign. This is a link. Remember, if we link this with here, these are both links. So every time I click on a symbol, we switch to everything. Everything is switched. Target, everything is switched. Tesla, everything is switched. That is a very good tool. I love it. It's quick. And once you have your setup, you want to click here on setup. And then you want to save workspace. So that way, if you want to try a new setup, you can always go back here, reset, but then you can click here. I name mine Alex B. And you can reload what you prefer. So I hope this tutorial helps show you how to quickly set up Thinkorswim and utilize it to trade. Now, how to execute a trade? It's very simple. Let me make it really easy for you. You can use Active Trader which you can buy and sell, or, which is so funny, you can use the big buttons, you can buy and sell this way, it's all on the right hand side, or you can simply right click, buy, and then fill this form out. So, again, I hope this helps you guys set up your thinkorswim, and if you have any questions, please comment below, please subscribe and like this video, and I appreciate you guys very much. And remember, you'll notice I use Thinkorswim for only, personally, the charts. I love them. And then I use other softwares like Das Trader for my level two and execution. And I use Cobra to actually broker and put my money there to actually have all my money and because I get better shorts, better, bar better borrows. Everything's a lot easier for me. But you'll notice I don't use just one platform, one company. Maybe one day I will, but I have never, I haven't found one that is awesome, that just one has everything. You might want to find the best of everything, right, at different companies. Thank you, Swim, though. Beautiful charts. Check it out. If you're enjoying these type of tutorials, let me know by commenting below and give me some ideas for future content because it's not easy just to create new content without input from you guys. So I really appreciate your help. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell so you can be notified for future videos. I do multiple throughout the week. And also like, hit that like button because that helps me with the algorithm. And you guys know this, doesn't, this isn't just something you can make like overnight. So thanks a lot. Take care.